Hi, my name's Huxer, and welcome to my playthrough in Bellright. Okay, um, I just thought I'd do a quick tour around my village. It's, um, what would I say, organic. Here is my shack. It's basically located there. Because I strolled down. At the beginning of the game, saw a relatively good place, and I thought, okay, I'll pop it here. Um, and ended up just building whatever, wherever. It's, it's just kind of grown. So, what have we got? Um, I put some stuff, okay, so weavers and a bloomery an extra house and then smoking rack storage more storage now I, I don't use the fireplace anymore but I don't know how to get rid of it because I found that the smoker produced better food if I collect it anyway so over here we have the second shack and my research and my simple workbench my two weapons racks that was the second shack I put in uh, forager hut uh, what's this, this is the pit saw and the logging camp and what was this one, trappers this was designed to look after these traps because when I first started the game this was all wood but I don't think these traps work anymore uh, not that I'm aware of but I don't know how to get rid of them so deleting buildings and equipment I haven't quite worked out how to you know, so anyway right so it's okay you know I'm I'm loving the game I've got to say it I definitely enjoy it I'm still in you know, early survival mode where I'm running back and forwards collecting logs and sticks and flax and mushrooms and you know like trying to work out how things work um, I've got a couple of farms over here I keep on having to build more water collectors uh, in the rain so they're all full at the moment which is fine I the one thing that bugs me is I don't seem to be getting enough seeds back to replenish certain items like food items so I don't know I might have to go and buy some more that's cool uh, and then I put another one over here so those two are just basically random whatever seeds I have um, I then built a third one just because I had loads of seeds I'm growing some weed over here because it just looks nice and then over here is my wheat farm which, funny enough, didn't even grow. I haven't even harvested this yet. But I will keep that as a wheat farm because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a lot of straw on going. Right. Okay, so I'm going to save it. I'll get rid of that. I'll save the empty one. village hall because I've no idea what's going to happen I was going to put it here but I thought this might be better for more fields um, and then I thought it would be kind of cool being on the other side of the road on this little hill up here and it was really close to loads of woods and I needed loads of woods so 
I don't know what I'm going to do. This is all wood is. I don't know if I can clear it all and use it. You know, uh, I've no idea. No idea what I'm going to be doing. So, here we go. We've got all, all the uh, materials. Oh my god. Holy crap, okay. Maybe I should have built more of these hammers. This is going to take forever. Right. So. Let me build a couple more of these hammers. And then I'll come back and start building. I just I obviously need my guys to help me. So I'll be back momentarily. Okay, so this is Oliver. And he is basically my best labourer. So he's got a thing. So yeah, I just found out I've got a raid coming in. Level 6 raid coming in tomorrow. So um, let's see if he is he going to help. Yes, he is. Okay. Um, we might have it finished by tomorrow. Uh, I've no idea. But uh, it's kind of cool. I've got to be honest. Um, I really do feel that building this village hall has been a rewarding challenge. Um, I off the top of my head, what did I need? I needed logs. I needed planks. I think I needed rope. Um, I needed wood, probably. And I needed thatch. Um, and I needed a lot of it. Um, and I needed to find it. Some of it, anyway. I needed to find the wheat to make straw to make thatch and I had to build you know get the, the farm I didn't actually need the farm but um, I needed a thresher and then I so yeah so many component parts and then logs into planks so yeah finally to get to this point I yeah I think I've earned it I mean, I'm looking forward to it. The fact that it's on this little hill, it might be better. It's going to be a bit on the piss, I think. But uh, I am looking forward to getting to the next level of... Um, of discoveries. Or what am I... Um, why can't I... Uh, of the tech tree. So getting up to here, now what do I really want? I really want to be able to make tools, so I can make straps. And I really want, where's the other thing I really want? Uh, no, that's too far. There, nope. There's a better... Where's the bloody hunting lodge? There's a hunting lodge somewhere. Anyway, I found it earlier. I can't find it at the moment. But there's a hunting lodge. And I really desperately need my guys to start hunting. Where are you? Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, I've got two relatively good archers. And it's quite frustrating that they can't, you know, hunt anything. Now I find it a bit weird because most games seem to have Hunting Lodge as one of the first things that you can build. Um, just because, you know, it's like a, an easy source of food. Whereas the fact that this game I can actually build farms way before I can build a hunting lodge, just build a little bit. Um, anyway, it's, but 
it's the way the game is. I'm not saying it's wrong or right. It's just, it's going to be a real... Because, you know, basically, I've got these silly little traps that don't seem to be working anymore that can sometimes get, you know, rabbits. Uh, a little bit of meat. That, you know, barely has... The amount I can get in the time that we smoke them and eat them, it's, it's just not worth it. So I would say I am spending most of my time... Where are you going? Where's he going? Oi, get back here. He can't be hungry yet. I gave him two whole mushrooms. Anyway, um, what is he doing? But uh, yeah, so having at least one, if not two, guys out there because I've only got six villagers so it's not a huge amount I don't think um, I could definitely I've got enough renown for at least one decent one 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 more decent one but so I'm nearly at the next level of trust I guess so I'd rather store up that renown and get a an apprentice you know just the next better level villagers so is he coming back what is he doing <laughs> that's just silly let's have a look where are you going what over you come back why did he just walk off I think I got some berries close by. He's running over, so that's something. Let me go and see if there's any berries over here. There's, yeah, right. There we go. Uh, well, inventory. Have both of them. Okay. Uh, no, come back. It works, yeah? This is the priority. No! What is going on? Come back here. Why would it do that? Come back. Uh, what is it? Uh, what else has he got? Smelting, no. Two. Yeah, right, cool. Right, try to... How's that new weapon treating you? Yeah? Alright, cool. You want to go and smelt something, do you? Are we hitting the same nail? Well, you go over there. Don't follow me now. Alright, cool. But yeah, not only... So, not only did I have to... find... and... create a whole load of... Best bundle up tight. What's going on? Of resources and materials. Is that anyone there, is it? This, this part of it is actually physically going around and building it. Yeah, sure, it's a little bit time consuming, but where's he going now? Mate, what would he be doing? Let me have a look on the map. What is he doing? Uh, is he out of trap, is he? You see, I could have, or should have been out one to try to, I don't know, back. I should have made some more of these hammers, but <laughs> there's something like stupid like uh, two rope and, I don't know, hemp or something and some wood. And I just didn't have it in my inventory. I've been using everything so rapidly. This has taken all of my my villagers. Collecting the logs and trying to keep us fed. And yeah, I, I have definitely focused quite extensively on this at this stage. Oh, okay, so here we go. 
So once it's done, well now that it's done, hopefully they can just start doing the facts in minimum quantities. I made one potato, there we go. Yeah, we just burned through, right, well those are beetroot. Uh, sorry, go in, there we go. So I, I really, I like this game, I've got to say, I, at this moment in time, um, I think I'm probably about 70 or 80 hours in, um, I'm finding it incredibly satisfying. I have had to scum save the fights a little bit, um, like with every game, you know, when you first start, you've got no health, you've got no armour, no abilities and also I'm useless you know I don't know the mechanics but I, I've got to say I do actually love the mechanics the fact that the, the arrow actually goes in the direction that I'm facing because there's no auto lock or auto target so instead of today, best bundle up tight. oh he's going to go to bed soon I know um, so instead of firing off at like a 45 degree angle at something I don't even see, I've got to aim it. So it's taking a bit of time to get used to, but I'm, I'm getting better. I think I'm level 3 at the moment. The biting cold reminds well. us that winter is relentless. Um, and the melee... Yeah, I, I can now just about handle two, maybe three of the wimpy bandits you know the guys with clubs and no armor and maybe a bit of a tougher one so let's say uh three bandits two of the easiest ones and one of the slightly hard one that's the toughest fight i've had so far oh look at that it's gonna take forever isn't it i'm gonna be here all night um but, yeah, you know, I, I've scum such a few of them because I'm learning the game, you know. My next playthrough will be, hopefully, uh, you know, a no save on hard. Because I'm on medium at the moment, so, you know, I didn't, get, I didn't play the demo and I didn't play the, uh, the beta test. I've just come straight in. Um, this is my my first playthrough. Lots of trial and error. Uh, yeah, and obviously a lot of error. Can't. But uh, I am really enjoying it. I like the fact that I do still have to do a lot of the work. You know, I'm, I can't rely on my villagers to create and everything and, and for me to go off and do quests and explore. So they're just, it's not that efficient at this stage. And I say that purely for the fact that I've got, what do I say, six villagers and tons of jobs. I keep on I keep on setting everything to priority one. So, oh, I need this quick. Oh, I need some more of this quick. I need so, yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to go through each, you know, each material, each workstation, and each companion, and slowly over time. I think it'll be easier once I start actually recruiting apprentice level companions or villagers, companions, I don't like, it. Um, like a farmer. You know, I go, right, okay, this guy is literally a farmer. I'll put him on one. Uh, I'll turn off a few of the other things I definitely won't want him to do. And I'll just have him, you know, and then, you know, like a carpenter, um, blacksmith. Uh, and then the guys I've got, uh, three of them are relatively com uh, competent combatants 
Lob, the first guy. Yeah, you know, average. He'll he'll be. I think he'll probably just keep him as a hunter. I'm not too sure. You know, um, and so like second. And then Molly was the second. And all her caps, all her skill caps are either a three, mostly three and a four. So yeah, she's just going to be a general whatever, help out wherever. I'll just, you know, if I need farming done, if I need harvesting done, you know, just, she'll never get any better. The one thing about the books, I haven't really used that many. I do I use an archery book art for Lob, so you can actually use a bow. Um, so I think it's bow skills five or six, five probably. So yeah, you know, he'll make an okay hunter. The other guy that's got a bow, I think his is six or seven. But uh, I think I'm gonna get ready. He's gonna go to bed soon. This, uh, this is gonna take me all night. So, you know, I'm, I'm 15 minutes in now. I don't know whether I should just record the whole thing. It's, it's going to be a, me jabbering away, <laughs> trying to think of stuff to say while I just hammer in a thousand nails. The funny thing is, I didn't. I don't think I actually had to make any nails. I can't remember. What's it on? Is he gone again? Yes. What's he doing over there? Alright. I guess I, I guess the next time I will know to make six hammers. Well no, to be honest, I s I'm in no rush. I was thinking, do I really want all of my companions making this? And I'm like, well, no, because they're doing whatever. You know, they're, they're still bringing in materials and raw sort of resources. They're still crafting items. Why don't you just... Okay. Um, yeah. I might... I might stop this and come back when it's done. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Come on, come on. I, literally, I think I'm actually going to be here for a couple of hours in real life. Uh, which is going to be the best part of the day in game. And I've got this raid to look forward to. Uh, I'm not too sure, because the last time I got raided, uh, I went and met them halfway, because I just wanted, wanted the fight. Uh, because the time before that, they barely made it to me. This is just so, such a great idea, though. Rather than just having, like, square panels. Making you know, one's a floor, and one another one's a, uh, a wall, and another one's a roof, and all right, <laughs> okay. Well, this is this is it. I might come back when I'm nearly finished, and that'll probably make more sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. I've jabbered enough. It looks pretty cool. It's getting there. I've got all the materials. I will come back when I'm on the roof. All right. So <laughs> back very soon. Okay. So <laughs> I've uh, probably been at it for about an hour. I'll put him back on to uh, worker. Hopefully, no. 
Where are you going? Yeah, you're a carpetbagger. Just come and do this. Please. What, what are you doing? Oh, you are joking. Give it back if you don't want it. That's ridiculous. All the way back. Just to bloody hand off a bit of food that I gave you for when you were hungry. Right. Can you now, please, start working, yeah? Yeah, okay, cool. Right. He's actually quite quick. Quicker than I am. <laughs> I dealt with the um, raid. I have one casualty. Where am I? There. Ernest. Now, the one that got me was Fanny. Who is my... She gets my wood. can't remember where it is now. Because she's got really good two hands. Yeah. And she's got quite good... Well, she's just good two hands. So I gave her the same gear that I'm wearing, which is the best. The only one... We're the only one with the best gear at the moment. Because I ran out of resources. But... Uh, for some bizarre reason, when she's collecting wood, she'll put her weapons away, grab a log, and then she's actually really good at logging, I won't lie. She's the main reason, she's my latest recruit, and she's the main reason why I managed to get this done. I'm not gonna say so quickly, but before she turned up, trying to get logs was a nightmare. I had to get most of them. Um, so she turned up and everything got a lot quicker in the wood department. But I just don't understand why she puts her weapons away. So when I called her as a companion, she literally had... So I have given her a two-hander axe and a one-handed axe. Just because, you know, put them in the slots. But she gets rid of them when she's carrying the logs. So, yeah, no, that can't be right. That's That's got to be some kind of glitch or bug. I, I realise that when, like, for example, this guy uh, working with me now, if he was going to do some farming, he'd have to get a hoe and that would take the place of his shield. So he'd have to put his shield somewhere. But she's literally logging with two axes. Why the fuck did she put one into the wherever? I had to go around and look for it. I think it was actually, I, I tried the we weapons rack, then I tried the equipment chest then I tried well and I eventually oh yeah no it must be in the bloody logging camp which I guess yeah but so now that that's annoying right how long we got so it's taken in game just just over a day at the moment I'm working yeah right and for me, personally, I think I'm in about two hours. Like I said, I had to stop to deal with that raid, so... Um, I thought I was a lot closer than I was. Because there's literally no way of... I can't work out how much... How many more items, how many more bits of material have to go up. It just it doesn't say... But, uh, yeah, I, I really hope um, that the devs don't change it. I, I hope there aren't complaints going, oh, it takes too long, and I haven't got that much time. I just, you know, it's a, a major part of the game. It's to, to speed this up, 
yeah, no, don't, please. It's, it's me. You know, I should have had... Oh, you know, I could have had six of these hammers. And I could have had all six of my workers working on it. And it would have just obviously gone a bit quicker. So I really do hope they, they don't change it. You know, I know there's another... I'm pretty sure that from now on, most of the buildings are going to start getting a bit more complex. So, the first set of buildings in the first tier, I'm guessing are relatively easy. Whereas now, you know, the, there's a town hall. You know, so I will know to have at least six of my villagers dedicated to just building with me. So, because by then, I'm assuming, you know, I'll have a lot more. I'm hoping I will. I don't know if there is a cap. I don't know if it's based on, you know, if you can feed them or not. All right, we're putting it in the roof. We're getting there. Oh, I'm putting it on the roof. Okay, I thought he was. Well, has he gone again? I don't believe it. What is he doing now? Oh, he's gone to bed, hasn't he? All right, fair enough. It didn't feel like night. It, it felt quite bright still. So I've lost quite a lot of time. So I've got to do it on my own for the next um, eight hours. Now think about it, it's like these guys do a 60 hour day. That being said, I normally, uh, I don't think I've slept yet, <laughs> to be honest. I haven't actually slept once in this playthrough. And just because, you know, uh, even though it's night time, I can still go out and do stuff. In fact, Getting all the wheat, I I went and got it at night. I'm not entirely sure whether it would have been e as easy in the daytime, but I just assume that I I don't know if they're what the NPCs the, the bandits if they have a an aggro range that changes. I know with the deer, the deer, if they're looking at you, they'll see you and run. If they're not looking at you, you can get a little bit closer. And I also found that if you go through the woods, and you hide behind rocks, you can get slightly closer. Um, so I just assumed that the same would apply for the bandits. The, uh, their, their aggro ability, or their, their aggro range, or their sight, would be better in daylight. So I just went at night. Um, I managed to steal a, a, a bag full and then go and then run. They, they aggroed a little bit and I just ran away. And then went back. Took a bit of time, but, you know, but I needed the wheat, so... <laughs> I had to go and get it. I will probably cut again now and carry on. I don't know if I'm actually... I don't know if this is it. This might be it. Yeah, let's assume it's it. I've got a few more things to hit. And then... We'll check out, and then what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just do a quick trip to where I get the, the wheat. Should anyone be interested, you know, it's like, it's obviously the only material that's a bit tricky. And I've only found it in one place at the moment, so. Well, there are still loads. It's 
just, uh, just it's amazing. I've never actually played a game like this before. I, I say that I, I've played quite a few um, survival builder games, but they are normally they normally seem to either have like a set building structure and then it will just go up you know you just you have all the resources you dump the resources and it just appears magically or you have the block types um, where you basically make a, a floor piece or a wall piece or a roof piece or whatever and you wander around with this floating bit of material and you attach it to wherever and you know if it if it'll fit it's white if it won't fit it's red kind of thing and you, you clamber around the building and you got you got all of this building in your inventory kind of thing or as much as you could possibly get or fit and then you just gotta like you're clambering around on top of the roofs and stuff and it's okay the advantage of that obviously is that you can make uh different style buildings you know each building can be completely unique um based on the, your own design and that's kind of, that's cool but unfortunately most games are like it so it's like you know once you've done it in one game it's like well you're just repeating yourself in every game doing the same old thing whereas this as I say, I'm not I'm not saying I don't have any there aren't any other games like it but I have never played a game where I've had to collect in a selection of materials you know depending on what it is whether it's like mud or straw or brick no, I've got I've not had to get brick yet uh, Woods, logs, planks, rope, um, and then you know, with the other ones, the other buildings, you just obviously click on these little white dots and it immediately appears, which is cool, which is still fine. But this, where you've actually got to put each piece in individually. Yeah, I, I think it's a great idea. Definitely have a. Because sometimes you, you can, the, the thing is, I found that I can't just I can't just stand in one spot and like target all of these easily. Now that one I can get. Okay, that's fine. That's lined up. But if I just target this next one. Yeah, okay, that one's fine. It's not going to do it now. No, I'm actually pointing it out. And then I'll move to the next one. Oh, I must have the perfect spot. But every other time I've tried that, I've had to wiggle the character a little bit just to kind of line him up. But on the one time I actually wanted to point it out, he did it perfectly. It's a shame it's dark. It's, to be honest, it's not actually that dark considering it's about 3 o'clock in the morning. I guess I'm quite lucky that it's a full moon. Alright, let's put a bit in there. I have, I've, I've actually no idea what this is going to look like. Oh, I had no idea what it's going to look like. I, I don't know what the finished... The, the finished... Uh, oh, no, okay building's going to be oh you can go through it, I forgot about that I kept on running around hope it doesn't trap me ok is that done? doesn't feel like it's done oh no oh, I'm putting up some guy rock lines or something what's that? oh ok no, that's the facts that's more flex. Can't be it. I'm sure I've got a... Oh, yeah.
Yes! There she is, in all her glory. Let's go on the other side, it'll be a bit brighter. That, oh, that's a shame. That's my fault for putting it on a, uh, a slope. That is epic. Right, cool. It's got a, uh, an achievement, obviously. Manage, what does that do? Oh, okay, what's... Oh. Oh, I researched this stuff here. Wooden plank, cob. I don't know what cob is. Weaver's hat, hut. Rope, log, strap. Right, what's that? I wanted a tool maker, didn't I? Let's do that. Let me get that and the... Let me get that going. Um, because I definitely want a tool maker. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it, actually do it yet though, because it said in the description the straps were made out of iron. I haven't actually discovered iron yet. Oh, that sort of crap I got from the... Oh, no. Do I really only have one cord? No. I can't remember how much I need it now. Uh, let me just run that and I'll clear out my inventory and then I'll go and start moving the logs over. I did actually, I was, I will do that in my own time, because what I will do, no, I won't, I, I, I just want to get rid of it in case I do get smushed, and then it's just there, and then hopefully they can start, yeah, no, that is cool, I might put some more lights in it, uh, what do I need, I need, Oh, I got exactly what I know. Doesn't matter. Okay, so five logs. I'll come back and do that. He can't research it now anyway, so... Let me just get rid of some of this crap. But, uh, yeah, that's that's actually really quite satisfying. I don't know if I put it in the wrong place, though. I've got to do a town hall, so I don't know if I'm going to end up putting everything in the same place or not hemp seed. Why have I got all this crap on me? Is this all? Oh no, that's in the bloody... Right, I don't... Let me get rid of all this food. No, I should actually eat some. So I'll take one of them. One of them, so much very spoiled food. No, I don't want to take the mushroom, I'll have a, that, labour. Alright, this, this is my book stash at the moment. I've got loads. Um, let me just do this. This and that, uh, and that, and that. Yeah, I've got so many bandages, I don't need any more bandages. I don't know if my guys use them, so 22. Right. So, just to finish this off, uh, I've got a signpost here. I could have probably put it a little bit closer, but uh, I didn't know how they worked at the time. I thought I could just click on it in the map. Let's go here and click on it and travel to it, but obviously not. So travel and then opening up the map and if I go down here right near to this wheat field and just below Padstow 
has so is just down the road for me in real life in Cornwall. And I've built another travel sign here. And so I will just save it so that I've obviously just done all that work. So the last thing I'm going to do is die now. And then this is the only place I found it. There might be loads of places that are much safer. But uh, I think I'm going to get aggro, so that's over there. No, I've got aggro. Okay, so they, the wheat fields are in there. Oh no, I'm not going to get, get out of Right, go, 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 go. Oh, ooh, is he? Ow, right in the back. Oh no, I'm going to get out See, I, is he that accurate? Holy crap. Run into the moonlight. Okay, I'll be aggro that bit. Alright, well that's cool. And a bit of a relief. So, let me just zoom back to my pad, my place. It's a handy place to have it because obviously you need tons of wheat to do all the batch. Um, and I'm assuming there's going to be most of the, a lot of the other buildings that I'm going to have to build are going to be. Let's get out here are going to be thanked. Right, I know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I thought, you see, what the reason why I thought it would be okay, if I get rid of those trees there, and I don't know about that forest there, and then they've got this little wall going down the side, and I thought, well, what I could do is build the wall around it. And that will, you know, I can build fences, but I don't know if I can have this up on the hill. You know, I haven't even been inside. It's cool, I like it. I think it's really nice, you know, beautifully designed. It feels like a little village hall. All right, cool, anyway. It's a beautiful day. Winter is finally over. If you have any suggestions or advice, I will warmly welcome them. If you do enjoy my content, do please consider liking and subscribing. But most importantly, thank you very much for watching.